Hi, my name is JV. I am a school trainer in Nepal. My name is Neera Chawlagan. I am also a school trainer in Nepal. And we are here in Culture Orientation Center, Damak, Nepal. Let's get into the class. I think this is very important for the refugees to start their new life in Australia because they have very unrealistic expectations before they travel to Australia. So we make them to prepare for their new life, managing the real expectations. So this is very important. OSCO is a worldwide program that takes place in many countries. Once grants are made by an Australian embassy, the names then go to the International Organization for Migration, where we get people ready for their trip to Australia. Part of that preparation is the OSCO course. Here in Nepal, courses are taught by Nepali trainers. The OSCO course is five days long. In that five days, we cover everything from how to shake hands in the Australian way, how to use a Western toilet, to uh, issues with family violence, and how to answer interview questions. Uh, refugees are changing their life. It's, we call them that they are getting a new birth. So for them, OSCO class is really important because they are not used to modern equipments and even the life in a developed country. They have been living in refugee camps since 20 years. OSCO class is not, uh, not a kind of uh, uh, traditional class. Uh, we have our, our different methodologies and uh, teaching uh, principles. Uh, we, tr uh, we try to tell them that you are your first resource, take charge of your uh, own learning. Uh, we, uh, uh, we deliver the OSCO training as an interactive way, uh, active learning. When you get to go to Australia and when you see them, like the participants few months back who was struggling in your class, who was really nervous, and today, like, when you go there, like, they ask you, okay, do you want to take a ride in my car? Or, like, they just want to show their new house. So that's really satisfactory for me. OSCO training is uh, really overwhelming for me uh, because uh, I'm not only teaching them, but I also got, uh, get to learn so many things from them as well. And uh, I have met so many refugees in Australia. We get emails and phone calls from there, and they really appreciate our work. Ah! <laughs>